It's the only way that people are going to feel comfortable in coming forward, raising their voices, standing up for themselves, is if we change the system in place that keeps them quiet. Speak up. Speak up. Raise your voice. Your voice is the most powerful thing, and we, together, as women standing shoulder to shoulder, cannot and will not any longer accept silence. The relationship between Amber Heard and Johnny Depp has had its ups and downs. When the former couple was involved in a long legal fight, they had only been married for two years. Amber Heard's relationship with Johnny Depp has been tumultuous to say the least. From the classic dog smuggling event to Amber's bombshell divorce filing, the pair had it all throughout their four years together. Since they called it quits, there have been allegations of abuse, several defamation lawsuits, and countless court appearances for the two stars. Continue watching to find out all you need to know about the former couple and how things went so wrong. With someone you love, it's, it's not as straightforward. If a stranger did this, you know, as, as, as it was pointed out to me, a stranger did this, it would be... Actress Amber Heard is no stranger to the spotlight. While she began her career in Hollywood with minor roles on shows like The O.C. and Friday Night Lights, her high-profile relationships have dominated the press as much as her professional accomplishments. The Zombieland and Pineapple Express actress is most known for her tumultuous relationship with Johnny Depp, but after coming out as bisexual in 2010, she dated Cara Delevingne. It is also about how we do it and how we talk about it in the media and in the culture. And us taking responsibility for it is what really needs to change. We need to take responsibility for how we talk about these things. At GLAD's 25th anniversary event in 2010, she said, I don't label myself one way or another. I have had successful relationships with men and now a woman. I love who I love. It's the person that matters. When asked why she decided to officially come out, Amber said she wanted to use her platform and fame to be a good role model for other young people. I think when I became aware of my role in the media, I had to ask myself an important question. Am I part of the problem? And I think that when millions and millions of hard-working, tax-paying Americans are denied their rights and denied their equality, you have to ask yourself what are the factors that are an epidemic problem, and that's what this is. Just as a woman, having gone through this in the public stage, and in, the, in, in the public arena that I did it, and I am able, I have a unique opportunity to remind other women, not only that this doesn't have to be the way it is, you don't have to do it alone, you're not alone, and also we can change this. Violence against women is not limited to actual physical violence. In 2009, Amber and Johnny met on the production of the movie The Rum Diary. Amber was seeing Tasia Van Rie, a painter and photographer at the time, and Johnny was dating Vanessa Paradis, a French actress. The Pirates of the Caribbean actor began dating Amber after confirming his 14-year connection with her. In January 2014, the pair announced their engagement, stating they couldn't be happier to be engaged and delighted to share the rest of their lives with each other. On February 3, 2015, they married in a secret ceremony at Johnny's Los Angeles home. I'm strong, smart, I'm not a victim to my detriment. I guess there was a lot of shame attached to that, but that label of victim. It happens to so many women, you know, it, when it happens in your home behind closed doors, the news about Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's lawsuit has flooded the internet in recent years. Many people are curious about who the genuine perpetrator is, therefore the question between the two is who is the true perpetrator? As more information becomes available, we understand that all fingers are pointing at Amber Heard as the investigation progresses. Unfortunately, it was stated that Heard wanted to work with Depp in order to further her Hollywood career. Although everyone is familiar with Johnny Depp's name, not everyone is familiar with Amber. This is a fantastic opportunity for her to gain the attention she craves. But whatever brought them together, Amber Heard's situation quickly deteriorated. I'm no brain. It's the telling someone safe is the beginning of choosing yourself. I really, like, really think about it. If I hadn't had that, if I hadn't had a few people that I really trust around me, a few women support, 
few friends, but I didn't have them around me. How, how, how different my life would be. In 2015, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard married, but it wasn't a big deal because it was a small, intimate ceremony. Nobody claims they were never together since they would never have gotten together if they were, but they did not look to be happy for long. They divorced only a few years after marriage, and they all rose up and announced in unison that they were her. However, being apart was healthy for them, and they looked to have an amicable divorce for a while. This didn't last long as Amber Heard went to the Washington Post shortly after to write an op-ed claiming that when they were together, Johnny Depp wasn't always nice to her. Depp, on the other hand, was her most recent romance according to popular belief. She didn't say anything about him. Soon later, Johnny Depp sued Amber Heard for $50 million in defamation. He not only sued Heard, but he also sued a number of news organizations that had published similar stories. Amber, on the other hand, hasn't received much attention in a long time. Unfortunately, in circumstances like these, more people trust women in their marriages, making it easier for others to believe Amber. It would have been simpler if she had said anything, especially because she had the courage to speak up rather than remain mute about the subject. The second thing Johnny Depp knew about the allegations and everything Amber Heard accused him of was that he instantly rejected them and began taking action. But the twist was that there was proof to back up his side of the argument, forcing him to fall on Amber Heard's side. This piece of evidence was utilized by Johnny Depp throughout the inquiry to try to prove his innocence, not only his plan. Depp then went on to gather further proof, all of which would aid him in proving Amber Heard's claim. Another key piece of evidence he deemed a game changer was text exchanges between him and Amber Heard's parents. Johnny's parents clearly believed he was innocent and sincerely apologized for all that had happened and everything he had to do with it, as evidenced by the paragraph. That's all for today. I hope you liked the video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel so that you never miss any amazing video from us.